We're good. And I think that's not right. Hey everyone. So I figured I'd do a quick like birthday stream. I didn't end up streaming yesterday. I actually had some stuff IRL that I had to do. But I figured it'd be really fun to try out Dicey Dungeons. Now I did record some runs late last night for me trying out each of the five base characters. I still don't know how to unlock the sixth character. And I will be completely honest. I was able to get a win on the easiest two characters, the warrior and the thief, and I only tried each character once. The robot I got to the last to the last boss of the run of the first stage and fell flat on my face. Uh, barely almost made it. I made a slight mistake. I've got videos released over the next few days for each one of them. I'm just kind of showing the first try. And then the inventor went like embarrassingly quickly. I lost on like the second floor. <laughs> and then the witch I lost on the last floor because I've realized that in order to hit max level before the boss, at least on the first stage, you actually have to fight every single enemy. So really, really interesting. I'll kind of get into the mechanics of the game as we move on. But I really, really like this game. I think it's super cool. I think the music, the design and everything is really interesting. There's a lot of recurring themes that I actually think are really, really awesome. So I figured we just go ahead and hop into... Hmm. Let's hop into the base warrior character. We will probably do the second stage since I've already completed the first stage. Yeah, Chris Greed. So interesting. Uh, let's see. So let's hop into Curse of Greed. You got two battle asses and all your equipment is upgraded. Awesome. Also, you're extremely cursed. Afflicted with curse at the start of every turn. I believe. Okay. I think I have an idea. I don't know if we'll, th this will work out too well, but I'll fi I figured we'd um try out you know the uh, like next stage I have available which is going to be the first or the second for each of the characters but basically like there's Lady Luck here she's basically holding a big game show yada 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 not anything too crazy but um supposedly every single one of the di characters was like a human that was transformed into dice for the sake of the show and she's kind of a scary like enigmatic character but she's saying it's time for another episode of Dice Dungeons with our Feisty Little Fighter the Warrior Hey, lady, looking to read anyway. <laughs> you sure are. She's definitely a little bit scary, actually. But the warrior is pretty simple. Kind of, you gotta love him. Basic character, you know. But he wants a monster truck. No idea why. No time. <laughs> no time could also mean never, but it could also be. Yeah, that is very true. She's definitely a little bit intimidating, but the design of this game is super. Well, you'll see. It's super, super cool. But anyway. Wait, but I'm doing great. <laughs> Of course I did. None of us have any. Jeez. Uh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. Let me go for another round. Let's see. So I didn't know there would be modifiers or anything like that, but basically we have our equipment. We have our base health. Every time we level up, we heal max to, uh, to max health. You can get more dice. So as you can see, we start out with two. And then we have our starting equipment. It looks like it did change, but we'll just hop into the first battle. Maybe go for the chest, but you'll get experience based on like what level the enemies are. It's really, really interesting. This whole innate thing, it'll tell you what the weakness is, which is super helpful. But you basically start out and you'll roll all of your dice every turn. And then different characters have different abilities. For example, the warrior has the ability to reroll three dice once every turn. We'll have our different moves and everything. You can also see the enemy moves. Um, you know, it's interesting. We also apparently have curse starter. Okay, that's interesting. So I didn't know there would be run modifiers. The first one was literally just like a basic run. Um, but as you can see here, we're starting out with two battle axes, maximum of four, and they're already upgraded, which is interesting, but we're cursed every turn, I think, so all equipment has a 50% chance to fail first time we use it. But as you can see here, we can't use a five or six with our current moves, so we'll just reroll this. That's about as good as it could get. The curse failed. Okay. Let's try and get a four. Okay. Another three. Not terrible, but every character also has a, a special move that will, ow, ow, that will activate once you've taken enough damage. Um, so in this case, it's Fury, double the next action. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, that curse is annoying. Okay, I was going to say, we need at least a three here, but we were able to finish the fight there. Very nice, we get some coins, we get some XP. Next level, super, super cool game, though, honestly. I was, I've was, i seen this game, I think, in passing. I knew very, very little. Oh, we got another battle axe. Um, but it's really, really cool. I really like the mechanics. As you can see, there's six floors for every run it would appear. You know, there's obviously dice. There's a lot. There's a running theme of six, right? The thing is super, super cool. In fact, there's six characters, although I've only gotten five. Each one was basically unlocked after I did one run with the previous one. But there are six characters. Each one has six stages. They do a really good job thematically of doing something like that. I think it's really sick. Let's head on to Robobot. But I'm still unclear if the enemies are meant to be like other contestants or anything like that, but yeah, don't really get it. Um, that's really irritating. Okay. Ooh, we should have maybe done 
No, that's fine. We will level up after this fight, so as long as we don't die, we'll be okay. But, um... Ooh, that kind of hurt. Hmm. We have our limit break here. I'm gonna try and reroll to... Okay, so let's see if this fails. We basically have the curse activate the first time each time, but let's do this. And we'll do it twice. And that'll end the fight, just to kind of show off what Fury does. Pew, 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 pew. Which next time you big dice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll see. This is already, like, seemingly a little bit more difficult, though, with all the modifiers and stuff than the first one. The first one was very, very vanilla, just very, very normal. But we'll have to see. But yeah, as we leveled up, so this first level up, we got an extra dice. As you can see, we have a little bit higher XP. And now we have more, you know, abilities to work with. Different characters have different things. Some, there are definitely some interesting characters, though. I don't know if this is going to be the same. Like I was saying, on the first time, after kind of doing the first run with each of the five main characters, in order to hit max level before the boss, we had to fight every single enemy. Oh, excuse me. So I'm going to try that. Uh, the apples will heal us. There's like a shop. There's an anvil that can upgrade cards. I don't know if anvils would be present, though, if all of our cards are automatically upgraded. But here, let's at least try and reroll cards. Dice and the three things we can use. I'm going to risk it. Okay. That was a little bit unfortunate. Dang it. I was going to say, let's leave with the lower numbers as well, just because we have the chance of curse. Um. Okay, so this character. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Okay. The problem is, yeah, with our current abilities, we literally can't use anything over that's a 5 or a 6, which is weird. And I really don't have the best luck. I'm not sure I'm willing to risk it. Let's see if we can't bait out that curse. I'm gonna Fury then? Okay. I don't know if- okay. I was gonna say, I don't know if curse can affect it when we do Fury, or if it would just affect one of the two, because it would really suck if it ate both moves. But, um, okay, 5 poison. We're taking a ton of damage just for being the first floor, uh, first fight after leveling up. It's kind of scary, actually. Let's once again lead with our weaker attacks. There's the curse, so now we can finish this fight. Nice. Alrighty. Check our chest. So we got bump. Dice value plus one. That's not actually terrible. I mean, if we get a one, two, or three, you know, that allows us to bump pretty safely. Let's just hop into this fight. Though we'll level up after this fight. I don't think we want to waste the apple. So for example here, I could bump this. Oh. I didn't realize that would also consume the dice. That's unfortunate. That's fine. I could have gone for three rules. Let's just go for the damage here. My luck's been pretty interesting, though. I literally had one instance where I rolled three rerolls. I rolled a one, and it rolled into a one three times. Um, which was honestly pretty hysterical. <laughs> now, I don't know if my reroll can actually fail. Okay. Just in case, then, what we're going to do is we're going to try and bump this. Okay. Still get very high amounts of damage. Um, yeah, I really, really like this game, honestly. I think it's super cool. Super unique, for sure. Oh, gosh. See, so, yeah, so there's lots of different effects. For example, Ice makes it so that your highest roll dice goes to a 1. Burn costs HP to reset. I'm just going to risk it for the Biscuit. I was going to say, because either way, a 1 doubled would also have uh, finished it with the Battle Axe. But here we leveled up. Nice. So we can choose here. Um... I actually really like Spike Shield Plus, but as you can see, we can kind of fiddle with our equipment. Right now, it's all fold up, but Spike Shield, yeah. Even does damage, odd does a shield. The shield can be very, very helpful. I actually don't mind that. Um, I get the feeling this might be a bit like the Ironclad, though, in Slay the Spire, where eventually the warrior almost becomes such a basic character that it can be kind of difficult to make things work the way you want it to. But here, I can Fury. And do... Okay, so it does eat both. That's really good to know. I wish I hadn't found that through trial and error. Let's see, this is risky. Okay, nice. So we can at least do a good chunk of damage here. Wait. Oh, okay, so Fury, it appears, carried over. That's really good to know. I had no idea. Um, so it would appear that if the curse eats the uh, the effect, then Fury will just immediately pass on the next thing. Interesting. All right. Well, we don't even need to pick up the apple. I don't know if anything happens if we leave it. Let's try that. But no, actually, burns one dice for useful. Okay. So burning a dice works on enemies the same way as it does on us. We can basically burn a dice of an opponent. And um, they can't use that without spending 2 HP. Not the crazy most helpful thing. I'm actually really not that good to that at target shield, huh? So I'm going to pass here. Because I have 5 gold built up. I could buy all... I mean, I could buy all 3. Let's leave the apple and see if anything happens. Because we're full health. Oh. Oh. There we go. But, um, yeah, I'm really curious to see. I don't know if there would have been two apples here. Anyway, I think there would have been. I have no idea what that is. So let's make our way towards it. 
Maybe we should have fought the marshmallow first, because that way we'd have opened up both past the apples. But, you know, okay. Triple one is, uh, interesting. Okay, let's see. So, let's try and bump this. I'm still just worried about this curse. Um, dang it. I should have probably led with that, but I, I should have checked what um, Haunted Jar does. So it appears that not every enemy is weak as well. Some are strong against poison. I know I fought against it. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, poison actually works the exact same way as it does in Slate the Spire, which is cool. But, uh, oh. So the problem here is I can only use Spike Shield once. So please, I do have to reroll down. Interesting. I'm going to try and bump to three because I was scared of the curse. I'm not going to try to reroll that. I'm just going to take the six damage. The likelihood of me rolling a four is one and six. There's a one in three chance with me rolling a five or a six that it would have been unusable. Um, oh gosh. Ooh, okay. Risk it for the biscuit. This would end the fight. Nice. Maybe a little bit overkill, but I had no idea if the curse was going to take effect. And I was scared. Alright, so let's hop into this. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so we don't have upgrade. Last time we had the chance to upgrade, but it... I mean, to be fair, we also have all upgraded cards, I believe, with this second run. I believe that was one of the modifiers on the run, so let's see. I could copy... The thing is, I don't really know if there's anything here I want to copy. Because to get another spike shield, I would have to give up both of these. So you know what? I'm going to pass on it this time. I hate to not use every resource given to me, but I really don't know what I would use. Do... Interesting, so we found six shooter plus. It has to use a six, and it takes up two slots, which I, I don't know if that means I'll use it. But you can do potentially a lot of damage. Again, not not anything I'm really impressed with. What, what was his blueprint? I'm an idiot. Okay. I don't know why I immediately, out of sight, out of mind, already forgot what it was. But all right, let's see. So let's do this. Maybe I should do a shield. I don't know. Okay. Am I willing? Let's try it. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. One in three chance with just these cards up that I can use. What does this do? Oh! That's interesting. So I know another character, I believe it's the Rogue, I want to say, has the ability to split a dice. And if you, um, oh gosh, we might actually die here. If you split a dice that's already at one, that's what Frozen does, it lowers your highest one down. But if you split a dice that's already at one, It'll just duplicate the dice for another one. So I didn't know that's how that would work. But that's really interesting. That makes Bump a little bit better in my book, actually. Alright, let's try... Okay, I was hoping to get rid of the curse there in all seriousness. Bring him down to 1 HP. We'll level up after this fight. And we have two apples waiting for us after the last fight of the floor. So hopefully... I'm a little bit close. Um, I'm not going to waste the limit break here. Let's see. Okay, perfect. That curse really is annoying because it's hard to know when it's going to take effect. But now we have a fourth dice, which is super nice. Definitely opens up more avenues. We leveled up, so let's go ahead and hop into the cactus fight. And we should be, we, we really should be checking the moves of each uh, enemy. So then, do one damage, plus one for each thorn. Okay, must be an even. Adds one thorns, he has three dice. So most likely he'll be able to use his abilities. All of them. Um, We might as well pop this. I'm going to, ooh, that hurts, okay. Let's do this real quick. And then... Oh, that double... Wow, that's really interesting. So because Fury doubled it, it gave me two of each. That's not actually that uh, helpful, <laughs> for being completely honest, but that is good to know. I had no idea that's how that interaction worked. I was really hoping to get... That's okay. I was really hoping to get literally anything. It was unlucky to roll either, because I was hoping to get literally anything higher than these ones that I could use, because those are capped at four. But that just kind of how my luck goes. My name literally is Misfortune, though, so... You know, that that isn't for nothing. Alright, lost 7 health off that, that's fine. Let's just do that. Let's find that at the curse. Do this. Oh, perfect, we can end the fight. No risk at all. Perfect, that worked out well. But as you can see, the levels get even harder to obtain, and that's why it ends up being so important. Um... Yeah, let's heal up. Let's check what's in the shop. Interesting. That is interesting. The problem is... Ooh, I really like that, actually. 
What do you think I'm gonna do here? I don't know if this is gonna pay out, but I'm gonna actually take that. Do this. The danger with this deck is, though, we only have four dice. And this is only going to allow us to use three of them. But I think that's still going to be a little bit more consistent. I might be wrong, though. Maybe double battle ox would be the way to go. Actually, you know what? If we're going to run that, let's do double battle ox instead of spike shield. Because spike shield I really was running for maybe the fives because it makes excellent use of fives. But we'll see if this works out. Um, What I'd like to do first is we only have one apple on this stage. We level up an 11, so we will level up after all three of these bites. So we have basically 36 health plus 7 to deal with all three of these. Let's open the way to our health first. Snowman is weak to fire. Do we even have fire? I don't think we have any fire damage. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Yeah, okay. So odds, deals, damage. So he rolls four dice. He has the opportunity to use any odd he gets. And freeze a dice, which is annoying. Okay. Let's do this. Forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> That's the best possible thing we can get right now. Triple fours with the battle axes. But now with the six, we actually can overcome, you know, our highest damage at the, up until that point was... Okay, he only rolled one. Oh, that's good. Frozen is annoying. We do have limit break. Let's reroll these three. And see what we have to play with. That's a little unlucky. What we do here is bump this. Do a six. I forgot. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. That's fine. Maybe I should have furied there. We oh, he got three usable dice there. One, three, and a five. That's gonna hurt. And three of my dice are gonna be frozen down to one. Hmm, definitely more damage than I would have liked to take. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do that first. Perfect. That worked out really well. Now that I actually remember, to be fair, I'm not sure I could have killed the snowman last turn, but we took way more damage there than I'm comfortable with. But luckily, we opened up the health, uh, the path of health. So we have 31 health to defeat a level 4 and a level 3. Let's fight the level 4 first. Maybe go to that afterwards. I don't know how this is going to work out. This is a little scary. Alright, let's, uh... Try this. We have two dudes. Let's see if... I was going to say, let's see if that eats it. Let's do this. The question is, am I gutsy enough to reroll this? We have two tries, right? If we roll a five or a six, those are unusable. If we roll a three or four, it's a net gain. And we roll, ooh. Dang it, I got greedy. Still could've used the extra four damage there, and that could cost me. Okay, this enemy, I think, creates them, and then... Oh boy. Yeah, let's see. Um, so here we go. We can use one six with broadswords. We need to reroll the six and the five. That went pretty well. Let's see if the... Let's go in order from least damage to most. So that when the curse hits. Okay. We'll take one more turn of damage from this one. Okay. Let's make the weaken. It's definitely going to hit me with a... Oh, perfect. As long as that isn't even... Cried. It's fine. We'll reason that. We do save Fury, I think, for the last fight. Either way, we can end the fight here. Not terrible, but not the great. Definitely, hmm, probably could have played that better, but it's fine. So we have 19 health to defeat this level 3. Let's uh, double check these real quick. Claw. Do 5 damage, add 1 poison. So I didn't mind the poison mechanic when I tried it, I think, on the Thief. The problem is with only one ability to add a poison a turn, that's basically just one extra damage. Because we can't stack, stack the poison like you would on, say, a silent build. And slay the spire. So I'm gonna pass on that. Hmm. The only thing this, I mean, we'll, we'll try it actually. I, I don't know if that's actually as good because if I roll a five and I get stuck with the five, that could give me a. What's this? Well, this is another opportunity to add poison. Do that much damage. Hmm. So the interesting thing is, right? On a 1 or a 2, this is more damage than this. Because it's just the flat damage. On a 3... This one can't use 5 or 6, but on a 3, this matches a 6. On a 4, this does more damage than anything except a 6, but the 6 adding 3 poison is still good. The issue is, though... 
I don't think I want to replace- I don't know. I still have no idea what's actually good in this game. Like I said, I've done literally one run with each character. So we'll just have to see. We do have Limit Break, though. Alright, so I would like to... Let's Fury, because you have to consider this is 8 damage. This is also 8 damage. This is also 8 damage, yeah. So no matter what, it would have been the same, but... To deal with this, we can bump this dice, right? Do 4 damage, add 1 poison. The poison would just do 1 damage and then okay. Having one, more than 1 poison source could have been really good. But the warrior doesn't seem like... Unless I got a couple more poison things, it would have definitely taken some... Ow. Some investment to really make that worth it. But here we should be able to fight. Perfect. That's what shock does, though. It uh, makes one of your cards unusable for each shock. And then you have to sacrifice the dice to even unlock that. Now we can choose a reward here. I kind of want Midnight Charm. The problem is I can't use it that well. On Pirate Hook. On 5, you can reuse The thing is, I don't necessarily want to reuse Pirate Hook. Let's see. Midnight Charm instead of maybe... Oh, you can use Bump twice. I had no idea. What if... Let's hold on to that, because the thing is, the only thing that can use a 6 right now is Broadsword. Battle Axe can't go past 4. Claw can't go past 5. But if we decide to change it... I can't, it's just, it's weird, because, like, I, uh, it's hard to know, because I really don't know, but here we go. So this is floor 5, the next floor will be the boss. I have no idea what this boss is, but we need 18, that's 5, 4, 5, 4. So we have to fight every single fight on this board in order to hit level 6. And at minimum, we have to fight the Rat King and the Dire Wolf. But again, I almost, maybe a speed running strategy or something like that, you wouldn't go to max level, but I feel like you need to be as strong as possible, and it'll pull you, heal you if you level up before the final boss. But that does appear to be pretty consistent. Now let's, uh, see what we can get. These are pretty good rolls. I'm not going to risk it. Let's do this. I'm waiting for the curse to take effect. Actually, this is the best we can do, because a 6, double 4, 5. The lowest damage here is the claw. And these are eight. I'm waiting for the curse to take effect. There we go. And I think the answer here is to do, you know, use your cards in order of least damage to most damage. So he needs doubles or less than three. That's good. Because we are definitely in danger of taking too much damage here. So we have a five D's here. Let's bump. Ugh, that sucks. Okay, um, let's try and reroll this. Okay. That's at least useful. We can end the fight. Perfect. Only two damage off the first fight, not so bad. Um, I had one run of my original five, so I had two runs complete last time, and it was the easiest two characters, to be fair. I had one run, which I believe was the robot fail on the first boss, and I think we'll at least do try and do one run of each new character this stream. And then I had one run actually fail here trying to clear out these enemies. But let's run to the chest real quick, no reason not to. Counterspell. Lock dice that roll blank. Interesting. So I can invest two dice... To lock whatever the enemy has. Again, I don't really know. I mean, maybe... We do this. The problem is, again, when you compare... This would allow me to maybe stack poison a little bit faster if I replaced a battle axe. But you also have to consider, right? If I... It, it allows the use of a 5 instead of just up to a 4. But this doubles that damage. And it, this only adds one poison. So basically, this is a double damage for anything 4 or under. This adds one poison... But without the ability to continually stack poison, which even if I took Bull's Claws, I'd still only be able to stack two poison a turn. And I have no idea what the boss, second boss is. I just don't know. I, I, I'm pretty satisfied with what we've got so far. I think the only change I might make before the final fight is maybe I'll switch out Bump for something else. But even then, Bump's been very helpful and it's good fodder for getting rid of the uh, curse. Which I, I'm 100% certain at this point doesn't affect on the signature move. Because it clearly hasn't. We can't use more than one six with our current deck. Okay, let's try and bump these. Where's the curse? Okay. Like this. This, I think, is how we do this. Where's the curse? Oh, okay, that was lucky. Curse didn't activate. That was four 50 50s in a row, and it didn't activate any time. That's pretty low. That's what? One in two, one in four, one in eight. That's one in 16 in theory. Actually, that's even less. It's like 1 in 32 because I did a bump as well, didn't I? Hmm. I'll take it. 
the Rat King is definitely going to knock some health off me, but we got such a powerful first move that I'm very happy with how this fight is going. Limit Break's active. Okay. Perfect. Let's try Bump. Let's try another Bump. Okay. That's fine, because that means I should be able to finish this fight here. Perfect. Yeah, this has honestly been gone really, really well, as far as everything's been considered. We have two more fights. And I have 16 health waiting for me. Let's take on the slightly weaker one. Heal the full. Fight the Paper Knight. And hopefully, again, level up. Heal the full. Take that on. Take on the final fight. But the warrior... I just still can't shake the feeling this is going to be like the Ironclad. Where eventually, as things power creep, it's going to be very hard to get a win on this character. But maybe I'm wrong. Five is good. Another five is good. That's two cards above. Hmm. Okay, so what we do here is we... I didn't think about... I didn't think this through. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Now we at least have use of cards. So let's do... Like this, maybe? I'm gonna Fury, actually. 18 damage there. Okay, that's fine. That was the best ball. I have no idea what I should be doing statistically. I'm pretty sure it's used, like, the, the worst... The lowest damage first, just for... Ooh. That... Ooh, that's annoying. Because I think silence makes it so I can't... Oh, okay. I can't use that. Well, in any case, I can... I just... Wait, what? Oh my gosh. If I do this, then this... I'm still get attack. As long as we don't take more than 16 damage, we'll take our last level 5 but it full health, so not so bad. Dodge next attack, deal 3 damage. This is definitely an annoying enemy, but we're not hemorrhaging nearly as much health as we could be. There's the dodge out. Perfect. Okay, not bad. We have this game, obviously, like, there's some... It's a little... Honestly, like, I thought Slay the Spire could be RNG heavy. This game feels even more so. But... I enjoy it. And speaking of Slay the Spire, I'd like to do another Slay the Spire stream pretty soon. I've kind of been cycling for me a new game. I did a few Genshin Impact streams. I'd like to do a Binding of Isaac stream because I actually haven't done one yet, but we will see. Not bad. Let's bump. Okay, so we got two fours, a five, and a six. Let's go with the lowest damage, which is actually... Because this is nine. This should be the lowest. Okay. That's fine. Because these are eight, this is nine. At least with the rolls we have. Alright, Paper Knight. So... 9 damage, loses damage time, it uses Lock Dice. Lock Dice makes it completely impossible to use that dice, that's fine. But you have to consider she's also spending a dice to lock that dice, so not a big deal. Ah, uh, oops, didn't think about that. That's fine, it means everything else is guaranteed to work. Still get a fairly decent chunk of damage down here. And we should feel okay. In fact, I'm just gonna sit here on Fury and hopefully save it to just wham the boss, because I have no idea what the second floor boss is. Don't. Okay, nice. Um, it's fine. It means we just need. Yeah. Nice. Not bad. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm telling Lady Luck. Lady Luck literally stuck us in here with you. But to be fair, you're one of the strongs. Okay, there's another dice. Let's take a quick look. Um. I do have to wonder if maybe the double... I'm just going to stick with our guns. Let's stick with what we've gotten. Now, we do have 13 coins because we haven't been buying anything, but this run hasn't really been... Like... Discharge. Such a charge. Yeah, like, nothing here I'm super in love with. Again, I, I have no idea what the meta is, so I'm just kind of going by feeling. But Warrior versus Beatrice, huh? Is that quite literally B? Beatrice? Why are there so many spaces in between? Alright, well, we got 44 health. Let's see what we're going into. Well, if it isn't another dice. This, I'm the first one technically here. Or wait, if it's only one of you, is it Daos? <laughs> That's not right. Anyway, welcome to defeat Daos. Alright. I want to make sure that we get the most damage out of this fury. So, I think the plan here is let's do this. This. Okay, I was waiting for the curse to go because now I can fury... 18 damage right off the bat. Super nice. And actually, we had the best possible rolls for these. Wow. 
Oh, wow, we took it to her. 40 damage on the first turn. That's crazy. Uh, let's see how much damage she could do Could I didn't check. So, put four damage and put one shock out. So, eight damage back. What does shock do again? Temporarily stables random treatment. Okay, so we have to invest to unlock. Please don't curse. What? Wait. What? That didn't do anything? Did she have a dodge? Apparently she did. Alright, so here... Okay. Use this to unlock. Hope the curse doesn't... Ah, that's fine. We should be okay, because we get Fury again in 6 HP. But that doesn't mean I'm not scared of the shock being an issue. Okay. Yeah, lemon breaks ready. Now, if this doesn't curse, we win. Fair enough. <laughs> In that case, this, uh, we still win. We're fine. Nice. The warrior definitely is the easiest character, apparently, so far. But All right, here's the jester. The wheel's been against you before, though. Yeah, basically... I'm 100% certain the wheel will be rigged until we get to the end of each character's storyline, but just matter, go, 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 while we watch the wheel spin. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Wow. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> Another highly unlikely spin of the wheel there. Oh, this is so rigged. The weighted wheel. Alright. Now then. Yeah, as you can see, these didn't go so well. Here's the uh, complete the episode. Okay, we got a challenge. Collect. Oh, it's like a bestiary almost. Um, I still have no idea. To unlock this contestant question mark. That's very descriptive. Okay, let's just run down the line. So the thief will also be doing... You know what? Actually, maybe let's run down the line. Let's do the characters on stage one. I'd like to show again. Maybe at least one run of every character before we end the stream. But let's do uh, one character. I really like the robot, actually. The robot was the character that I was able to... Oh, okay. You can choose which one you do. Interesting. No CPU counter create any dice you like. Okay, let's just do the basic one, though. This one I did get to the boss. Oh, she has something to say. Welcome back, robot whose dream is to live without sleep. Yeah, I never got that. Because she was like, why don't you just wish for immortality? And why does the robot have to sleep? And he said, well, I want to, you know, start... Well, it said, I don't know if it's a he, she, or an it. But the robot said, I want to start small. Which is, you know, not the worst plan, I suppose. But then, um... But then randomly, you know, he sh just, like, decided, yeah, we're going to go without sleep. So I don't get it, but bring your beds and replace them with whiteboards. Be the best you can be. All right, so the robot's mechanic, though. I, I really like this character genuinely. So we have, I do sweet dice, that's fine. So we have this calculate meter. We roll. We get a dice. We roll again. If we hit, like, for example, here, we're pretty much guaranteed to pass this, but... We can use Plasma Blaster, Blaster, do this. We have Auto Roll, which guarantees a jackpot. Oh, we actually got the jackpot, go figure. And then when you get the jackpot, you get the ability to do one of these. One more roll, do five damage, which is just going to be what we do, and regenerate health. Super cool. But if you over roll, then you actually lose all your dice. Well, you don't lose your dice, but you lose the ability to basically play anything. Unless it specifically says, last time we had ability that specifically said it wasn't affected by that. But auto roll giving us an auto jackpot is nice. Super interesting character. So I really like the robot. I wasn't even trying, you know. Win if you want. I don't care. Good for you. But um, leveling up actually increases that counter, giving us more potential dice to work with. But again, it can be really weird. Healing crystal. Okay. Last time we had some interesting equipment. So we had one that um you'd invest a dice. And I think it had to be an even. And it would increase the range for which a jackpot by like one or two. So you didn't have to get exactly the jackpot. Um, and again, we had another one that worked regardless of if you bust it out. Ooh, okay. Can't make good use of six, actually, with the current deck. Yeah, exactly. There we bust it out. We don't have anything glass over. So a little bit dangerous. And I think we are going to be relying on the failsafe of getting something good and reliable. What? Well, here's where we should probably... So... I really want to save the Plasma Blaster for, you know... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that was coming. But, um... So I guess I could have done more damage if I used the Plasma Blaster, but I was holding out for it. But here you can see we can auto-roll. I'm just going to do 5 damage because we're going to heal to full, because uh, we'll level up after this fight. But, uh, let's just do this. 
and this. As you can see, very interesting character, but also a character that can be somewhat limited because it's we it's already yeah we get extra CPU, but it, it was already an RNG based game, heavily RNG based game, and now we're putting RNG on top of RNG. You know, it's not only just rolling the dice; it's now trying not to hit Jack, uh, trying not to overroll as well. Five is the best possible roll for that. Oh, we are definitely not getting a jackpot here. Yeah. I'd really love a uh, card like I got last time that kind of makes it... Oh boy, okay. Interesting. So, so the wizard only gets one dice. But I believe he has an ability... Yeah, that, to get extra dice. And, um... Oh, that's annoying. We do this real unlock last one. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Heal 5 damage, freeze 2 dice. That's actually not bad because it guarantees that we have 2 dice to work with. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm actually not going to auto roll here, I don't think. Let's do that. Okay. Maybe I should have healed. I should have healed. Dang it. What's he got this time? Deal 5 damage, burn 2 dice. That's annoying. We are hemorrhaging health, jeez. Mm, I, I'm just gonna suck my pride and use the auto roll, and I'm gonna use it to heal. Because we are a ways off from one. Let's do this and this. this. Yeah, this isn't going so well. This is a little bit rough. We should be using healing crystal for sure at this point. We're starting to get desperate. Okay, all of mirrors isn't bad because we're close to. So he now gets two dice, but we're already close to ending the fight. Please don't give me a six. There is no god. Gosh dang it. I hate everything. Even when the luck would theoretically be good in most games, roll a six. The game did me dirty. Okay. We, we may die here. I like how they actually went like a nice beat though. Oh my gosh, we died. I obviously could have played that better, but the game did me dirty, dang. That is rough. That's fine. Let's, uh, I, I want to do another robot run, though. I really like this character. <laughs> that was a stunning example, though, of how my own. Welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. Remember, if you'd like to be on the show, just write it. I really would not want to be on the show. Secret hope into the envelope. Jeez. I think it is potentially the same enemies each time. I think it's just the map layout might be different. But did, well, actually, did we have Wolf Puppy last time? I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Nice. But, uh, yeah. My RNG has never been good, and I'm not very smart. So take that as you will. That's going to make it very hard for me to get through everything. Fury. Okay. But I do like this game. I think the design is really cool and all the th themes are like insanely like they flow together so well. We got another healing crystal, okay. Interesting. I wonder if there's a pool. Or we well, obviously there's probably a pool we can pull from, but I wonder if like each floor has a specific pool or something like that, or if it's just a set pool overall to put together. Oh gosh, really? But yeah, that's rough. Like for example there, we rolled a five. So with nine being our limiter, we had a 1 out of 3 chance with a 5 and a 6 of hitting it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to worry too much about this fight though because we level up after this fight. So not a big deal. We use that though. Really? I have a bad feeling about the robot and I, I get the feeling that while I really like the design, we aren't going to get along. Fair enough. Prove me wrong immediately afterwards. <laughs> Alright. Two extra CPU. Next floor. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, try it as strong against poison. I'm just gonna auto roll. I can't really make use. Okay. Let's do this. This, because this is a max of five. Interesting. Yeah, not super impressed. I'd like to replace that upper left DPS card with something better. And again, I'd like a failsafe card. Last time I had a card that was literally just, uh, it was Plasma Blaster. But again, it wasn't affected by, uh, Meltdown or whatever it's called. 
which made it super reliable by error. Um, what you got on six restore two lock? That's really annoying. So she's gonna be able to do both things. Luckily, we do have auto roll, and I'm actually gonna use auto roll to heal here. It'd be nice to try and finish the fight, but I'm scared. So, do this here. Recover one health. I feel like I haven't really utilized the life crystal enough by any means, but I'm definitely a little bit nervous about dying. Oh, that was lucky. So the question here is, do, I, I do genuinely think that ending the fight is more important right now. The problem is we're going to be entering our next fight limping along. Oh wait, no, we have an apple. We'll probably need it. All right, mechanical arm. Do one damage, add one each roll. I think that's for like, yeah, number of dice you use. Certain characters can really abuse that. That actually works out well for the the robot, I think, if we... Yes, yeah, so not step two. If you roll a bunch of low dice. One out of three chance here, so we're gonna go ahead and do this, plus this. Okay, okay. Crud. Okay. So you rolled a two, burn two dice. Burning two dice is really annoying for this character for sure. It's auto roll. I'm gonna regenerate three health. I'm going to pay to help use the plasma blaster because I don't want to stall out this fight. We will heal to full after this fight. Ooh, that's not good because we haven't whittled him down too much and now he's going to have two more options every single time. This is making the mechanical arm quite a bit stronger. Okay. Let's do the mechanical arm. Do this. And let's spend our dice because we only have a one in three chance of not. Yeah, hitting an error here. Got a dodge. The ice works really well for me, dude, honestly. Um, I'm gonna do this because he'll dodge the first one and then hit him with the plasma blaster. Let's recover three health. One in six? Ah, that's fine. Wasn't really expecting it. Alright, so we're taking 10 that Ooh, we need to finish this next round. I don't want to auto roll if I don't have to. I didn't think about that. He burned two dice. We have an auto roll, I think. Yeah. So we can't sack two HP when we only have two HP. All right, what you got? Ultimate weapon. Do blank damage. Double on jackpot. That's actually really cool. Or Buster sort of mean to errors. So what I did last time is this obviously has a much higher damage cap. I'm gonna take the Buster Sword though because that's just a fail save, and you've seen how many times I've already busted out. So let's go for the fail safe. I'd love to go risky, but okay, bump blade doing damage, get new. I'm gonna take bump blade actually. I kind of like that. Such good music though. Don't give me a six. I hate this game. Lick my nuts game. One in six chance of uh, airing out. But as you can see, we're still able to do six damage despite that. I should have played my other dice, but my thought was, it's a 1 in 6 chance that I bust out there. So I was going to go for one more dice to check my options. But the game thinks itself a comedian. Alright, let's see. Do this. Okay, there's just the value plus 1, so we can plasma blaster. I really like that, actually. So cover 3 health. Okay, that's fine. And if we error out because we rolled too high that's still going to be a decent roll for that. So that's my thought on it. I don't know if that's the optimal way to play. We are taking six damage here. But I quite like this strategy. Honestly, I don't think it's terrible. The only downside is the ultimate weapon. Obviously, we could have forced an auto roll with our limit break or whatever this is called. I don't know what it's called. But that's a little bit of a iffy strategy in my opinion. Nice. Goodbye, Sneezy. Alright, I am still going to try and fight literally every single fight, though. I think that's just wise to try and get to the max level before the boss. You could argue, yes, it might kill me. But not having the max level for the boss will also, you know, probably kill me. We probably need to, so let's do this. It only does one damage, but it gives us a guaranteed plus one plus three damage. So we can do this. Woohoo, nice. Lucky shot. Buster sword. Oh, it would have been 4 damage either way, okay. 
which is invest in pea shooter. I do want to get rid of pea shooter next. I'm the least impressed with it. All right, unlock ski blade returns. Oh, this guy's scary because he can just do things over and over sometimes. Because he gets the dice back every time. Very, very intimidating character. I hate my life. The only time rolling double sixes would be terrible. <laughs> Yeah, at least he rolled. That's fine. Because if he rolls another single four, he can't do it again. If you give me double six four times in a row. Okay. Um, I would have been pretty butthurt, I'm going to be honest. So let's save this for the Buster Sword. Uh, why not just do this? Because it's going to do one damage no matter what. Okay, that was in the correct way. I was hoping to get one more roll and squeeze a little bit more damage out of that. But it did not happen. So, okay. He went through the three damage instead of... Oh, never mind. Yeah, see, eventually could be kind of a problem. I'm going to save my limit break here. Shouldn't need it. Nice. Okay, that was a little bit iffy, but 2xp to level up. Can I do this next fight with 20 HP? Should be easy. So this is the anvil. We can upgrade a card. Let's see what, uh, what does Buster Sword do. Yes. Yes. Basically, that's just my fail save. Let's upgrade the fail save. Let's run to the shop. I only have three coins, but what you got? Notch. Dice value minus one is interesting. Use an additional chat. I actually really like the fixed payout. I had that last time. We're going to replace P-Shooter. P-Shooter just isn't that helpful. It's a big investment because you have to invest five. I'm sure the upgrade is less, but you're investing five total numbers between all your dice to get two damage, you know? And it doesn't have any additional payout like that, like the other ones do. But we should be able to do this fight with 20 HP. Stereo had to speak to shot. And I'm just going to auto-roll for a five quick damage. All right, so we do Plasma Blaster. We can't use this. We do Buster Sword. Bump Blade. Oh, and we can't do Mechanical on this way. Nice. That worked out well. Honestly, how dangerous would it be to try and farm out Auto Roll before our next fight? It would probably be stupid. That's interesting. The weekend made mechanical arm like almost like a different effect. Oh no, it just has to be a six instead of an even. Weird. I know I said let's farm out auto roll. I wasn't actually intending to there. I just wasn't uh, thinking. Ready in three HP. I mean, the most damage you can do is eight. So, you know. Okay, you're not making my life easier. But with only two Sonic Waves, the maximum damage he can do is 8, and in theory I should be able to do 1 damage no matter what, so. There we go, that'll give me auto roll, because we're going to heal to full after this fight, and that could hopefully help me save a little bit of HP after my reroll. Oops, okay, um, that's just weird. I don't know if that's strategically smart. Hey, rat fight, don't squeeze you any except. Yeah. I don't know, dude, are there that many cassettes from after 1986? I mean, I was born in 98, so... Cheat code increased? Yeah, okay. That's also very, very good. Okay. In fact... Hmm... I want to do this. That takes away a little bit of safety. The thing is, though, the way I see it, right? A mechanical arm can be potentially a lot of damage. And it can just be, you know, there's a one in two chance that any dice can use it. Bump Blade basically allows us to bump any odd up to Mechanical Arm and gives us one damage plus the extra dice. These allow me to kind of mess with Jackpot, depending. But upgrading cheat codes, this only increases it. So instead of having to roll exactly the Jackpot, I can roll within one of the Jackpot and upgrade it is within two. Now, I don't know if going for the extra... Like here, let's auto roll. So he can use an additional jackpot ability to lucky shot and one more dice, okay. I think upgrade that lets me use all three. I don't know how useful that is in comparison, but. Yeah, I kind of like what we've got going so far, but cheat code makes it just so much more reliable to get it because with my luck, as you've seen most of the time, which to be fair, it makes sense. You know what? It's an exact number. Oh boy. I'm so scared. Let's see, let's do this this okay that was apparently a six yeah blind makes me nervous but that worked out well 
And we can heal to full here. Nice. Alright, on to floor four. Let's unlock health first, because defeating the sources here unlocks every bit of health on this floor. I'm trying to be strategic about this, I'm not not the best at that. Do not give me a six. Okay. So I don't have an ought to use cheat code here, actually. Actually I can do this. What's interesting too is if you're already in the range, it just automatically gives it to you. Let's do this. I was afraid of that, okay. But I just love like like the ears. Everything like the ears are consistently the same design between characters. Like again, the running theme and the dice. They do such a good job with the design in this game. I think it's so cool. Let's fix payout. Luck shot and regenerates. Buster Blade. Okay, nice. That worked out well. Okay, so we level up an 8. We have two level 4 fights to go. So we have 29 health plus our double apples to beat these two. Aurora, this, at bo uh, this enemy... Okay, this enemy, yeah, she can switch weather, but she'll usually use all her effects. I was gonna say, I don't even know if it's worth it to use cheat code there. I think it'd be less damage because I... Oh, I don't know. That was interesting. We're definitely gonna take a hefty chunk of damage this fight, though. We're only early ones, though. It really isn't as big of an issue, as it? The first two were guaranteed. The second two... First two were guaranteed to be ones because of the frost, but I just rolled four ones in a row. What? That was something else. <laughs> And then the worst part was we didn't even get the jackpot afterwards to make me feel- Ooh, that was a bad voice cry. To make me feel just a little bit better, you know? And she can reroll in the same weather, but first two will be ones. Yeah, let's just auto roll. Alright, so let's do fixed payout with bump blade. Do that. Do that. Do that. I just realized I don't have an even to work with, that's fine. Should be able to hopefully end the fight next turn. We do have two apples waiting for us. This is going to be dangerous, though. She won't be able to use another ability, but she will be able to move change. We need to do 11 damage here. Ooh, okay. I'm actually going to regenerate here, honestly. Yeah. Nice. I can't believe I rolled, like, four ones in a row, though. That's insane. All right, then. We'll heal to full after we level up, so if the enemy rolls blank, that dice is locked. That's just a little bit too luck-based, and I don't want to rely on anything luck-based because I feel like it's going to kick me in the seat of the pants. Don't get me a six. Okay, um... I can't even increase that. Um, let's see, let's do this. I'm just gonna invest all my damage here. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, what's he got? Only odds are usable. He rolled three odds. That's fine. Two of them are ones. And honestly, I don't mind the frozen, genuinely, because it just guarantees that those first three are ones, which adds damage to mechanic farm. Let's just auto roll the rest. Now we won't be able to use. Oh wait, no, we can. I keep thinking that. That's why bump blade's so good. Okay, we do this. We do this. This has to be an even. We actually don't need to worry about regenerate, yeah. I was just about to say, because we healed a full after this fight. Otherwise, I normally would have regenerated there. That is the most terrifying design, though, I think I've seen in this game. 
think we rolled all odds. It shouldn't matter, but if this wasn't a fight that I was leveling up on, it would be an issue. See, that that was actually supposed to happen. That was like, you know. Alright, nice. On to the hardest floor. Now that CPU counter plus one. Ooh. I hate to take too much investment, though, in all honesty, into... I really don't know what I get rid of because Bump Blade's been crucial, as is Mechanical Arm and Plasma Blaster and Buster Sword for my- these are my damage. And then I have two cards for utility on the jackpot. I'd love to try out Increment, but I don't think that's the answer here. CP counter for Juggling Ball. Do sword damage get a new dice and... I don't really care. You can have it, I probably won't use either of them. Alright, so yeah, we have to take every fight here. Luckily, the health is available to us from the start. Let's make our way towards the... Yeah, we have to fight a 4. I hate to fight a level 5 first, but my thought is... Oh, they aren't available. I have to go through this battle. Okay, I was going to say, let's make our way to the anvil, but... We're basically going to have to fight in the order they dictated for us. That's the only place we're guaranteed. Let's uh, increase jackpot range. So now we have to get... So there's a 1... If we roll a 5 or 6, 1 to 3 chance... We get destroyed. Two out of three chance. One out of three chance in a three or four week jackpot. One out of three, it's an unusable dice. Let's just do this. Crud. Okay. Again, I'm never sure when the answer is to hold on to dice because then you can optimally play or what. Because that could have rolled me over and not been as much damage, you know? So. Blind two dice, okay. Oh. Well, then one of both of these were high dice, right? Well, that's just insult to injury, Kraken. Insult to injury. Well, for Max is 13, so we can infer that this is... Were these both? These are both ones. Really? because we're going to need it to do this. Perfect. Not a bad turn. This is going to hurt. Ooh. This is kind of like fighting the Kraken and Slay the Spire where it's just so dangerous to uh continue onward. Oh, sick. I really want to regenerate here. Can I still finish the fight? think so because these had to have been pretty high rolls yeah that's what i thought okay for us to get it in three dice it had to have been high rolls all right let's see what's in the shop in the chest we have 10 hp i'm just gonna buy that now i don't think yeah three damage eh, eh, i'm not really impressed with anything here yeah not, not really anything here Okay, three fights to go. We'll heal the full after them. Take a minute, speak to fire. We really haven't been relying on any of our runs so far this stream on uh, elemental damage for sure. Buster Sword is good. Uh, I'm going to increase the jackpot range. Crud. Okay. I really wasn't expecting to roll a 6 there in all honesty. I really want to upgrade my jackpot range though because that gives me a little bit more room to play with. Here we auto roll. Use me just on jackpot. Regenerate like shot. We need an even for this. Oh, we can just do this, though. Perfect. Not a bad DPS. Turn. Oh, no. We're going to get wicker staffed, aren't we? That's going to hurt. Owie. I don't know what I was thinking there. My mind just kind of went blank. Do I need to use... No, probably not. We'll save the limit break. And the fight. Perfect. Ah, don't feel bad, mate. I'll just beat myself back. I, I didn't blast you to pieces. Thanks for making me not feel as bad, I suppose. Alright, let's pick up all our health. We have 32 health to defeat... Why did I go back in here? We have 32 health to defeat two... Uh, 
level 5 enemies. We might not survive, but again, if we just defeated the Paper Knight and we're missing a ton of health, we're not going to be able to survive the boss. So, auto roll time. Next payout. Okay, that was good. That was good. Almost half her health. Lock one dice. Okay, you know what? That's fine. She locked two of her dice, but she didn't do any damage. Oh, wait. She probably does this one. Use one of these here, just in case. I was hoping, but that's still fine. Hopefully, we can finish next turn. And honestly, we should be fine. She once again can't attack. That's super good luck. Crazy. Do we really wanna okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna do plasma blaster. Okay, that still works out. I was hoping I was gonna say on the chance that anything else I can still use through the fail safe. I do quite like our deck so far. I should have upgraded uh hard before we went into this fight fight final fight before the boss, but we're still relatively healthy. Alright, do I want to waste a 5 on that? Not really, so let's do this. Uh, okay, that worked out. I was going to say, that was a little bit risky. I could have liked to use Mechanical Arm there, but I didn't quite think about that. Alright, Avalanche. Minimum 3, so he has to roll at least a 3 for that. Okay. Interesting. I genuinely almost feel like on the robot I'd only like maybe one high dice and then just roll a bunch of lower ones with what we've got going for us, but that's fine. I'll take it. Okay, well, that just gives me instant jackpot. Better play it safe. I mean, we have 32 health, but I don't know. We lost that first try we did on stream with uh, the robot on like the second floor, so... We do get to save auto roll for the boss though, that's nice. Very nice, okay. Not so bad. Hit max level, good. I am absolutely going to upgrade cheat code though. As you can see, yeah, it gives us the three leeway. That means that once we've activated it though, that's a range of three that we can use. So in theory, that's a 50-50 chance of hitting a jackpot instead of one and six or two and six. Oh, it's not the Girl Scout anymore. Last time when I did when I did my first run with every single character, it was the Girl Scout. Interesting. Welcome to the end of the journey. Prepare to douse. Wow, that joke got over fast. Limit break uh I might as well do this. I mean we can't actually there's no regeneration here, so maybe I should have saved that. Uh, we need an even for this. Not terrible, not terrible. Let's see what she does. Some high rolls, some high rolls. Ooh, okay, so she does a dodge and she does 8 damage. Including 2 shock. That is scary. Because I can already see how this fight could go downhill very fast. Don't give me 6. Okay, so this will give me insta jackpot. the guaranteed damage oh let's see so let me just do this right that's seven damage instead of Does she have a dodge as well she had a dodge as well that's annoying okay so she has flight one beastie well that's better than it could have been the problem is we absolutely need to attack at least twice because of the way things work. Let's increase jackpot range. Let's do one plasma blaster just in case. Crud. Why did I? Oh, I could have done one more damage there. Um, hopefully that doesn't be what kills me. That wasn't English. Hopefully that's not what kills me. But with four dice, she's basically guaranteed to have a dodge. And she's basically guaranteeing that she does damage as well. We absolutely want. We'll just love the shot. Do this. Do this. 
I didn't think about this. We can't use this because it takes an even dice. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely not playing this correctly. And I could pay for it. Oh, I definitely might pay for it. Okay. This is getting dicey. She can only do four damage at a time, though, so hopefully we'll be okay. Don't miss it. Whoo! Okay. Why did I do the more powerful attack on her dodge? I don't know. But we should be able to close this fight out unless we get astronomically unlucky. She's still gonna go for a flight? Interesting, she doesn't. In that case, we can definitely end this. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, the Girl Scout has... Uh, was the other first floor boss I found. And her basic deal was she could basically activate a campfire twice a turn. That would increase in damage. So if you didn't kill her fast enough, it was really, really dangerous. Wonderful, wonderful badge of contestants you all are. What a beautiful victory. Thank you, Mr. Jester. Thank you, I worked very hard. You can tell. Don't patronize me. Ugh. I'm gonna uncross my fingers. Thanks, dude. I've got all my fingers and toes crossed. I know it doesn't change the outcome of the spin, but yeah. Hey, man. You never know. You ready to see it roll a skull? This wheel is so weighted, dude. I'm so sorry. It looks like you won't win a life without sleep. At least not. Not just yet. But you do take on... Oh, really? Local piece. Well, we can't leave. That's fine. You still got a victory. I'll take it. Alright, so let's hop into one of the other characters we haven't done. You know what? I'm gonna do the inventor because I died on like the second floor. The characters do apparently go increasing in difficulty, which makes me scared for this character. Funnily enough though, my first run, I basically had similar to our first robot run. I just got crushed on like the second floor by RNG. Whereas this character made it to the final floor, but I wasn't able to clear it that last floor to get my last level. And again, I just feel like you need it. What was the inventor's? Oh, the inventor makes a gadget. Today I'm in. Why don't you actually just lick these nuts? Just slobber all over them, Lady Luck. Anyway, sorry. Just made me a little bit irritated. The inventor deal is I get a gadget that I can use. Focus, all dice become six. Yeah, that's interesting. Basically, I can do a gadget. Um, which is interesting. We're starting there. But at the end of the fight, the issue I was having was you have to actually consume one of your moves to get a new gadget, which I'm not a big fan of. You'll see. So now we'll no longer have the heat ray because apparently it's boring. I want my hammer. So for example, now we could have the P gun. We do three damage next fight. The problem is that means that you just rapidly cycle through your, your equipment so fast on this character and it's hard to get something consistent. But I don't think we're going to be getting rid of that shock anytime soon, honestly. Unless we get multiple shocks, but I just like this too much. So we'll take a battle wrench. Make sure dice okay. And here we'll pick up a bunch of so staff. I like staff. Heal six damage, burn one dice. Those cumulative ones do last from turn to turn, though. Sword to do damage. Inventor weaken and equipment. But the problem I genuinely have is just it makes it so annoying to get anything consistent. Like, you keep maybe one or two, but you're still going to want that free attack. You know, you need... And I don't think you actually get a choice to skip now that I think about it. So you need to have something that you can cycle through, which makes it unreliable because you don't have something reliable. But I'll work my way towards the burn. Sword could have been instant damage, but I'm going to work my way towards the burn. Do five damage, burn two dice out. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'll pay two health. Nice, okay. Definitely losing more health on the specific fight than I'd like. Is he gonna burn to do five damage? Yes, you are, okay. To be fair, for the NPCs, it's not an issue at all. Because the NPC's job is just whittle me down. But we only have to survive one more fight, so here, shocks are- I don't even think the hammer one's that good. Let's grab plasma- Ooh, let's actually grab blood torch. K 
can I survive another fight at half HP is the question. I'm pretty sure. It's level 2. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Leave more healing, uh, healing for after the marshmallow. Could be stupid. Likely was stupid. But, oh. Okay. Here we have the Blight Torch. And three stages doesn't actually benefit me a whole lot in the sake of like what my middle thing was, but that's not bad. And only two damage, so we're good. Glad we didn't waste the healing. Nice. I really want to keep the hammer and the sword, so let's do this. Flamethrower. Does take a double dice commitment, but later on when we have more dice, that could be better. Like, it's cool that this character forces you to, like, it gives you a free ability, right? And it forces you to use different things. It doesn't mean I really like it, though, in all honesty. So let me see. So two damage. Oh, okay. Then there is once for battle. And then the sword and the lightning attack I have are actually the same exact thing. With the exception of the fact that if it's a six and the lightning, it does something else. I'm going to save the HP, because I think either way we probably end the fight next turn. Ooh, they do. The Marshmallow does get both attacks this turn. Two dice, so optimally for it, it gets an even and an odd. Why did- oh, did it freeze? It froze. Crud. I could have used my focus there, that might have been the play. That was probably a play, it would have saved me six damage. You really don't look like much of a cube. I don't think Marshmallow, they're, they're still in me, right? Yeah, I'll get rid of Flamethrower though. It's neat, but not high on my priority list. Bump, okay. Basically full HP going to the next floor. Great equipment. I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna upgrade one of the, I'm gonna keep the hammer. Oh, cause that... Hmm. Both are helpful. I'm gonna upgrade the... I think the space could be good. What are the... We don't even have this. We, we can't make use of it now, but the sword would have just been plus one damage, you know? Not anything too crazy influential. It does appear that the inventor gets more... Absolutely gets more... Um, chests than the other characters. Which does make sense, to be fair. I really do like the plus one or minus one um, slash split dice effects because again if you roll top or bottom it's basically just free dice which can potentially be very helpful. Um, do this damage, continue to armor up. Yeah the bully can just throw rocks, basically the bully you know rolls what he rolls and then chucks it at me. It's not always been always uh, break here. Hmm. Sword hammer. Uh, yeah, let's just do. We'll protect for the next fight. I suppose. Hall of Mirrors needs a six. When upgraded, though, I'm pretty sure that is. It just needs an even. I really want to upgrade that and then keep it. In all honesty. The problem is, now we have three things that we don't want to get rid of. Which is fine, it just means that it severely limits our options for getting new power. And the problem is too, if all three of those are offered to me, I'm gonna get rid of sword. But if all three are offered to me, I don't get a choice, I have to get rid of one. Why is Fireman weak to ice? I don't feel like that would be the case. We might not be able to make use of all the extra dice at the moment, but it gives us more options to work with, which is always nice. Um, ooh, we're taking quite a bit of damage here. Okay, this actually could be a little dangerous. Especially if you light my dice on fire. I need that six. Oh, that's not good. 
Uh, we just died because he rolled three sixes. Uh, really? That's uh, incredibly unlucky because we had 11 health and he can only use even. So the only way we lost that fight was if two of at least two of his four dice were sixes. And it rolled three. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's try one of the other characters we haven't shown real quick. Which is weird. My favorite little braggart. Was she a braggart? I don't remember. Her account is up to 10,000 followers. Good for her. Honestly, like... I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, honestly, I can be genuinely honest. I, I got my model because I didn't want to show my face on base cam because I was embarrassed. Um... But I really just wanted to stream and do YouTube for fun. Kind of just break out of the, uh, just how tiring it is to do college and work jobs and stuff. Although I am an employee at the moment. I am applying and stuff. So honestly though, but I mean, hey, if you got 10,000 followers, make use of it. Well, it wasn't until I had it. Really? Well, that's mean. All right, so what's the witch's deal? The witch has a spell book. When you put a dice into the spell book, you can put that spell into the slot. When we get new skills, we can put them into the spell book. So we're invested here. You always start with these two, but it, it gets really interesting. It's a slow starting character, but it's not as though the beginning is usually that dangerous, especially if it's a space marine that needs 20 and rolls that. Here we're gonna choose the cauldron to try and get another infliction space. The problem is when we only have infliction as our options, it's a little bit dangerous. But he should get a plasma cannon off. But yeah, literally the first fight I ever did on this character, though, I kid you not, I didn't roll a two, even though I was re-rolling with cauldron for like four turns. And I actually almost lost on the first floor. Maybe it wasn't almost, but I definitely did not get a two for a few turns. I don't I probably wasn't in danger of dying, but I don't remember. That vid goes up in a little bit because I combined the, uh, spoiler, I combined the last two characters? Yeah, the inventor, the inventor, sorry, the inventor, English, it's my native language. I am Asian, but it is my native language. Um, geez, okay. So, dice value minus one, that's not the best, but we'll learn it because it's a spell. The problem is we still need two to get active weapons on the field right now. Strong against poison? We really don't have any poison. Here we can nudge. Perfect, that worked out really well. Because again, right now our only option of the three that does damage is infliction. Well, we're taking eight damage here. Not a big deal. Crystal ball, roll three extra dice. Sure. That's just helpful in general. Got a two. What is nice though is say I uh, do this, right? This. I can use these, then refill that slot immediately. Whatever power is there will obviously come back the following turn unless you do that, but still really cool. Another cool mechanic is instead of like traditional upgrades, we upgrade either a slot or we can start with a certain power on the field, which is neat. Um, uh, I kind of want to do Burning Light. And since it's a minimum of four, let's do it on four. Why not? Lucky number for me. Magic Shield, sure. I'm probably not going to keep Magic Shield for too long. Quite sneezy. But I just like the art for this. It's just, again, so it's unique and it's so thematically cool. Like, they always make sure to add everything together. We you get Infliction. Burning Light is now also a weapon that is available to us. There's no reason not to put another cauldron in here, I'd say. Helps us reroll. Alright, we can't really do anything with a 6 here. Nudge to lower? Eh, I don't think nudge is super important to put in here. Magic shield I would also say is not important to put in here. Let's put in a burning light. 
Oh, that's a minimum four. Even better. Because it dir directly translates to damage, so a minimum four is better than a maximum four. Ooh, interesting. A little bit of damage here. I don't feel the need to waste my... Yeah, I'll save my limit break here. Not bad, not bad. One more fight and we level up, so let's save the health. Hall of Mirrors is very, very helpful, yeah. It's one of these, uh, It's almost like implementing... Again, I'm relating this to Spider because it's the game I played the most recently, but Hall of Mirrors lets you really start to invest in extra energy. So we got... Right now, it's very important as for, get to, for us to get Burning Light and Infliction in, because that's our only sources of damage. Wow, not impressed, game. Not impressed. Maybe I could I could put a nudge in, but not impressed. Oh, I can't even use any of them. Nice. I forgot, we can, yeah, we can just throw any dice we can't use as well. Didn't even think about that. Uh, let's grab another Infliction. I'm just gonna toss double Infliction here. Mm, never mind, I should've... But I didn't think that. You know what? Just take that. Throwing the dice also always just feels terrible, but... That double Weaken is annoying. What is nice, though, is if we cycle these out, it actually... Uh, doesn't work the same way, it just gets rid of it. I really don't want magic shields here. Let's cauldron this up. Burn a dice. Okay. This character especially, I'm really not sure what to do with this strategy. Unfortunately, it didn't burn the dice that would have actually done damage there, but... Once again, we heal the full after this fight. We haven't even used Hall of Mirrors yet, which is hysterical. <laughs> But that's fine. Nice. Right, yeah, I'm gonna do an upgraded spell slot. I think early on that's a little bit more important. But if we could upgrade a spell slot and then start out a magic upgraded magic mirrors in it, that could be really, really good. That could be a win con later on. Magic missile. I do quite like magic missile. Let's get rid of nudge. Nudge and the shield are what I'm least impressed with. It's not that they can't be helpful, it's that I don't think they're going to be that helpful. Here's my upgraded slot, so... Takes an even, okay. I want infliction. I think the goal I'm gonna shoot for is two two upgraded slots, and then maybe we'll try and get something prepped. Alrighty. Nice. Infliction isn't the best. I might look to replace that if I get a better, more reliable source of damage, but we'll see. Take four poison damage, that's fine. Yeah, that upgrade still so that's helping out. For sure. And we can heal the full just barely. Alright, on the floor three. Let's... Fireman will only give us access to one apple, but the fireman, the pirate, will give us a level up, so. Yeah, sure. We guys, huh? Six of the polymers. Stacking up dice is a good win con for sure. Might as well put a magic shield in play. I've not really been super impressed with it, but... I get the feeling we're gonna take some damage here. Ow. Well, I was right. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna haul up mirrors in just because I can do this and this. I 
And get up. Oh, I can throw burning dice. I didn't know that. I didn't even try it last time because I was scared that it would hurt me. You would think it would. Oh my gosh, this fireman is wrecking us. I mean, all the dice in the world isn't going to help if we don't go on the offensive, so let's do this. One more dice. Was admittedly hoping for a shield. Let's just do this then. I think that might be worth it. We just have to take an apple and hope we can defeat defeat the pirate with pretty low health. Are we dead? We are certainly very close. Yeah, not the cleanest of fights when you consider we're pretty much full health, but it's fine. Do one damage, get an even dice. That's probably... I just wasn't really using it. Healing crystal. Sure. Some defensive ability. Can I defeat the pirate? I can't even buy the apple. Okay. Well... Here goes nothing. Upgraded Hall of Mirrors is good. I'm actually only gra gonna grab one. What did Gold Card only gonna do? I'm gonna grab an upgraded Magic Missile though. Do this. Do one damage, get an even dice, right? Stick that in the empty slot. Oh, we are so gonna die. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, one more burn or another. Like, literally anything will kill us next turn. Um. An extra dice isn't really gonna help me here. That was really greedy, but I have a feeling I'm dead. Oh, I'm super dead. That's okay. Just defeated. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, this is meant to be the hardest character of the ones I have, but I'm definitely not playing well. I'm sure there's tons of people that have managed to beat, uh, beat things too hard, but that was my second try on the witch. Let's try the thief, though. The thief's the last one that I haven't tried. And we'll do keep enemy equipment after each fight. Interesting. That seems to be the only modifier. The cleverest little cute boy, the thief. Well, I'm not so confident. I've been getting wrecked. So the thief's big deal is he steals an equipment every turn, and I think it holds until you use it. Oh, it's different now. Interesting. Like here I can do this. We'll invest in finders keepers, why not? Yeah, last time I would literally just have a random ability over here from the enemy in front of me. So that is actually different than what it was before. Try this. Yeah, lockpick splits the dice into two. It literally can be any combination of two that uh, make up the number. So do we use? Okay. So if we split a one, we get that. We don't have a whole lot of damage to work with. Oh, and we're taking ten damage here. It's fine. The first floor isn't usually that dangerous. We will keep the hook. Use next equipment. Actually, I don't even have equipment to use. Yeah, same. Thank you. He seems like a really friendly guy to be sitting in here. Do I just keep that permanently? Oh, interesting. Not too impressed with anything the thief has starting out so far, but. Use next equipment. The next gonna use can be used again this turn. Okay. That 
Tower of Devil. I'm not super impressed with anything there. I think we definitely want to try and steal something really, really powerful. There wasn't anything like... Uh, I don't know, that was super impressed though. We want to make our way towards the health for safety, I'd say. Although two fights is all it's going to take to level us up. Um, we should probably actually be working our way towards something. What does she have? Blind one dice or do damage based on even dice. That would give us a good use for sixes. Hmm. Is, this, is this three or one? It was a one. Okay. Had I known that, I would have split, but that's fine. Getting in even in an Audi Shine, which is actually legitimately bad for me. Not exactly what I was looking for. Okay, good to me. Hook isn't actually that helpful outside of splitting dice. And splitting dice multiple times a turn is somewhat um, situational. It's good to keep Finders Keepers activated. I could have hooked to get another one. I should have hooked to get another one. Oops. That's okay, live and learn. Uh, we paid six damage as the price for that, though. That was kind of stupid of me. Hmm. I'm obviously gonna try and grab the even thing. Yeah. Perfect. Right, dryad. I'm not sure which whether the dryad or the sneezing boy would be a uh, saver, but let's hook. Get a bunch of those. Hmm. Uh, I'm just wondering to find those keepers. Does the dryad have anything? Yeah, actually, Vi Venus Flystrap would be pretty good. Poison Slingshot wouldn't be terrible. But we can't afford to let this fight drag out too long, so we might not even be, have the safety to go for it. This is gonna be dangerous. Oh, we might be dead. Oh, we're super dead. Oops. I really didn't think this through. I mean, I need that. Oh no, we're, we're, we're dead. <laughs> that's embarrassing. That's another run that's ended on the second floor, just me being dumb. Oh well. Thief was defeated. Yeah, definitely not playing things optimally. Do we want to go to... As cruel as it's been to me, I really like the robot, man. I didn't read the modifiers. Oops. And for a little optimized Optimus, the robot. They're good. I don't really beefy though. Know. Everyone should aim to be the uh, very best version of themselves. <laughs> He's trying to compromise. Fair enough. Jeez, Lady Luck is just she's so mean. In real life, to me, to vanish. Duplicate dice are immediately. Oh, okay. Well, that was convenient. I have a big sword like I deserve in this one. You already have a sword twice as tall as you, dude. Small shield, okay. The gardener. I've never seen this bunny before, actually. Have I? Oh my gosh. That was a 1 in 6 chance that I rolled a 6. Everything else would not have broken it. Just gonna mess up shield. Dude, the robot RNG kills me a little bit inside, but I just really like the character. I think the design is so cool.
Auto roll could be dangerous though, especially when we have a higher number, because then it could there's a higher chance. It took me 83 years to get into this salt. You're 83 years old? And you learn something new every day, I suppose. Versus and don't rabbits have like really short lifespans. I do wonder if maybe speedrunners though. I'm I'm sure speedrunners don't go to max level every time. Oh, that's unfortunate. That does appear to be the unique challenge of this run, though. Ooh, and she got a 6 for that. Ooh, yeah, high rolls on this enemy is not good for us. Six is a little hard for me to use. Okay. I get the feeling this might be a second floor loss again at this rate. This is cool. In this case though, I almost feel like it's worth it. To do a couple rolls, right? And then auto roll when I have it. That way I minimize the chance that I get a duplicate that I get rid of. If that makes sense. I don't know if it does, but that's kind of my thought on it. That was risky. Okay. Let us end the fight, though. Yeah, that fight had me a little bit scared. I'm gonna heal 5 health, but I'm not gonna heal all the way. Because the thing is, this could kill me, but you also have to consider if I had to eat both of those apples, fight one more fight, I would have then had to go to the next floor with that much less health than I probably would have died anyway, so... All right, game. Hmm, that's okay. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Uh, we should have healed, but again, I'm not sure how well this would have gone for me. Ice is a little bit obnoxious for me now, actually now, isn't it? Our best strategy here is to just rush him. Teleport spell is the biggest of deals. Don't give me another six. Okay. Oh, he can dodge that. Interesting. Um, well, he's gonna dodge this, but it's fine. This fight doesn't definitely seems manageable as long as he doesn't roll half mirrors early. Like, you're obviously gonna take chip damage with the way his kit works. But as long as he doesn't get. You know, a whole lot of really it's not just the biggest of deals. We still very much might just die, though. Shocks to equipment. Yeah, if we can end the fight next turn, we lose. Okay, well that's gonna be... And we healed a full from the level up. I get the feeling this is literally always going to be the choice. I'm genuinely curious to see what other people do. I don't have any, any friends like IRL that play this game. A lot of my friends aren't super into roguelikes, but um, I just feel like Buster Sword is its the safe versus the potential. You know, it's risk it for the biscuit, and I'm not much of a risk taker. <laughs> hmm. What you got? Don't give me a six. Jackpot range. Now I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting a jackpot. Let's do this and let's do this. And then if we go, oh, I was going to say if we go over, we just have Buster Sword to use. That's what I like about Buster Sword is you can basically say, like, well, if I roll too high and break the limiter. Oh, he couldn't do anything nice. Ooh, okay. Uh, I didn't get an odd, which is unfortunate, but. Not bad, not bad. Three damage here? Not so bad, actually. I'll take it. Things worked out pretty well overall in this fight, I'd say. What just happened? It does also incentivize- it's hard because you ordinarily want to kind of sit on those dice, figure out what the best quarter of faction is, but if you risk it too much, you're going to lose those duplicate dice on this particular stage. 
Hai baby squid Ooh, okay That's fine We do have auto roll But again, ordinarily I would just auto roll at the start I don't think that's the answer here Oh, do we really want to auto roll when we're blinded? Oh, it tells me. Okay. Just because, yeah, like, the more you leave up the chance with your auto roll, the more likely it is you get duplicates, so. Even when it's up, I feel like it's worth it to, uh... Just be careful. I really like this game, though. I'm not good at it, but same thing as Slay the Spire. I still think it's very fun. Let's take one healing, fight the Fireman. We'll level up after the Fireman, but it's the Fireman. No risk, no reward, but I get the feeling I might be glad I did that. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, that's 10 damage immediately. Are you serious? That worked out incredibly poorly. Six damage here, two burns. The burns are dangerous though, just because again, it's either waste those two dice, which makes the fight take out longer, which means you take more damage. Or I'll give up 2 HP to get myself a 3 HP shield. Because if you stall out the fight, you'll probably take more damage. It's like the same issue I have with the leads in Slay the Spire. Again, sorry, I keep making the comparison, but... Do I take the damage now in the hopes that it's worth it? Crud. Okay. Or do I, you know, wait it out and try not to touch the fire dice? and run the risk of just dying. If I had an odd here, that's be insta jackpot. Oh, we didn't need it. Nice. Uh, we didn't need to heal, technically, but we would have survived on like two HP, so still probably not bad that we did. Increased jackpot is good. I am gonna fight the handyman though, fixed payout. Um, what would I get rid of? We would get rid of Peace Shooter. Peace Shooter is not that impressive. See maybe afterwards if there's extra health to buy from here if I need it. Oops. Uh, if I'd- oh, okay, that's fine. If I'd used the one on cheat code, which I just didn't think of, I would've had a jackpot there. That's a misplay. That's scary. That's scary because this means the handyman's pretty much always gonna have a shock. Not the worst though. I don't know, I just feel like the best strategy though is always to fight everything, get max level before the boss. I just don't think it's as safe not to. Put the dice upside down is interesting. Well, let's take the easier fight, open the way up to some health. So actually only two fights on this floor, that's interesting. Actually, let's fight the Rhino Beetle because that opens the course to two health. Okay, that's fine. Wasn't sure what the play there was, honestly. Hindsight being what it is, I would have used the uh, this equipment right here. I can't remember what it's called, but there was no way to know. I'm really scared of this runner rolling high and getting beetle head, but that sounds pretty annoying. Let's 
not the most damage, but it's still annoying. Should be able to win next turn. Hopefully he rolls low. Uh, it was still high enough. Yeah, but he gets the veto. That's fine. Not the dice, admittedly, that I wanted long. Jackpot at least. We are gonna level up after this fight anyway, so it doesn't what? I did not know that ambushes were a thing. Unless that was just an apple and I thought it was a heart. That might be the case. Dang it. I could have sworn that was just two hearts. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Reduce health by half. Not a fan of that, dude. Just straight up don't. Let's not. Lost one, that's fine. I didn't think about that, oops. Oh my gosh. That sucks. end the fight next turn but yeah this last fight on the floor is gonna be dangerous okay okay should be doable though yeah it must have just been a regular fight am i currently using the plasma blaster <laughs> Yeah, no. Was she offering like a piece of you know, both two sixes? Uh, with my current equipment, is that that good? It's good for Buster Sword. It's not really that good for, I think, a whole lot else. Most of the rest of my stuff relies on evens versus odds rather than high numbers. Oh. That wasn't what I was expecting, admittedly. Right, so he gets two thorns, which I think works. I think thorns aren't quite like they are, because I mean, in Slave Aspire, they're permanent for a fight, but still like the actual basis of what it does is the same. Not bad, though. Unless he kills me this turn, we're fine. Oh. Okay, you can only use that once. I was about to say, did I just die? <laughs> okay, we're good. We are cutting it a little bit too close for comfort. XP times three. I don't know why that was, but I will gladly take it. I don't really care. I'm not going to use either of these. Just, I feel like the answer is always try and get the max level, but maybe. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Not bad. I get the feeling, it's just an inkling I might die on this floor. But going into the boss without level 6 full health, I just feel like seems like poor life decision. Fix payout, switch to lucky shot, try and end the fight. ASAP. We definitely need more evens than we do odds right now. Dark Wolf is, doesn't seem to be a huge threat so much as it's very specifically trying to chip me down. I think I'd just be safe, yeah. Not terrible. Three more fights to go on this floor. What's in the shop? There's usually health in the shop. There is a 10 HP, okay. Fight the gargoyle. Okay. 
I didn't mean to click that twice. Oops, that's fine. Oh, he can't do anything if the locker dies. That's lucky. That's unlucky. No way. Triple six is, is interesting. It wasn't that helpful, but... Hmm. Is he gonna lock two dice? That's annoying. I don't think it auto locks. Yeah, it doesn't auto lock dice that were still in that same ballpark. It's only spite ASAP. We have one apple on the field and one and health apple in the shop. So our goal here is to just not take a ton of Stop doing that, dude. That's annoying. Lock the six, which isn't good. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. That's why I like the failsafe, though. You could argue that Ultima Weapon would have resulted us in, in having higher DPS, like big burst turns, but the argument can absolutely also be made for the exact opposite. We would have had so much less reliable DPS without it. Nice. Could have healed there, actually, but I probably should have healed there. Not the biggest of deals. Grab this. Singer, okay. Still have the Wickerman to go, so we ideally don't want to lose a ton of damage. Oh, she is absolutely getting a high note if she's gonna just keep rolling some decent rolls. And she does have four dice. Interesting. Triple sixes again. That's not necessarily a good thing on robot. It'd be Oh, it gave her another really high roll. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's not good. scared. Why is she getting such high rolls? Oh, that's making my life so much more difficult, admittedly. Okay, yeah, that- oh, one more. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Well, we're only taking three damage here. That was really close to being even worse for us, but... Yeah, she got like really high rolls throughout this fight. That was scary. It's fine, we got it done. Alright, let's heal up. Check this treasure chest. Then it's just us, the wicker man standing between us and the boss. I don't want that. Alright, wicker man, you versus me square up. I only have a little bit over half health. I have auto roll and 5 HP. We're gonna definitely need some luck. Cheat code? Oh, that's fine. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Alright, let's do this. Auto will do your magic. And shield. Not exactly. Does the shield still count towards auto roll, I wonder? Ooh, he gets two health back. I don't think it did. Not ideal. It's fine, we just need to survive. Stop giving him sixes! <laughs> oh, we're dead. Game. Oh, that hurts. Both the Wicker Man and the music, the singer just... Oh, that's unfortunate. Those are some high rolls, though. That's just sometimes unavoidable. Um... I wasn't planning on doing super long stream today. Um, like I said, I mean, definitely got some family plans today. So let's maybe do one or two more runs because it only has been, it's been a, a little under two hours for the stream. Um, and I'd definitely like to leave some more gameplay. Not been great gameplay. I think we've only won like what, one or two runs. We want to run on the robot and we want to run on the warrior. I really just don't like the inventor or the witch. I 
I hate to keep playing the same character. So you know what? Let's go back to the warrior. Try out his third stage. What have we got? So enemies get 10% extra health. All enemy equipment is upgraded. That's a little bit scary. Or start with a Venus flytrap. Lose two max HP when you level up. What? We'll try it. That sounds pretty difficult, actually. Hearing about the warrior. Who uh. somehow's trying? Yeah. I mean, the warrior's the only one who's really succeeded at all. Does that just mean we get two less max HP for a level, or does that literally mean? Oh, Venus flytrap's good though. I guess in this case we get to freely try and just use all three rerolls, at least for right now. To try and get the most damage possible. Ow. You roll for a six, if not least five. Unfortunately, only the six restores up, really. You really had to rub it in my face, didn't you, game? I guess I should have tried to roll for a six there to heal, but. I rerolled like six what times with that fight, didn't get a single one, and it gives him three sixes. Uh, such a luck dependent game is really depressing for me to play. <laughs> This is good. That's good enough. I didn't pop Fury, I actually thought I had. Oops. Alright, so we just gained two less- or we're literally just gonna have- Yo, what? That's crazy. In this case, yeah, we don't want to be fighting. Like, that's interesting. Yeah, in this case, it literally behooves us not to fight. The extra- we'll lose extra dice, obviously, but... Yeah. With our current cards, it's always best. I should have popped- I forgot to pop Fury. We use two dice. That's, uh, that's fine, we have rerolls. Ooh, that went well. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, this is an interesting one though. Yeah, this is absolutely a don't take as take as few fights as possible. It'll result in us having less treasure, obviously less options to work with, but we do not want to be losing uh, all of our HP. I had really hoped it was like, because ordinarily you gain more than 2-8 max HP, I would really hoped it would be just that you gain less than that, but... We are definitely going to be reliant on our Venus Flytrap. Oh, I'm so scared. We're taking another... Ooh. Let's roll for a 6, try to get some health. Yeah, it's fine. You can still end the fight. I guess leveling up probably still, yeah, heals us to full. I think we need a shield. This is really scary. Can't want to not impress with any here. We definitely want upgrades. Anytime we can get upgrades, that'll be helpful. Like here, we're going to skip this treasure. We're going to just fight the... We're still required to fight two of the three fights. That's not good. Absorb that, which is nice. I think our current base set of moves isn't bad. That's a little bad, though. We could have ended if we have done. Why is that unlucky? We still aren't going to take damage, though, so not the end of the world. Yeah, that iron shield is going to be a lifesaver, I'd say. I don't want your XP times, too. <laughs> Venus Flytrap gives us more health restore on even inflict weaken. That's also very good. We're going to do Venus Flytrap. 
It's still going to be difficult to proc because we need a 6. But with our low base health pool and with it going even lower, we probably need it. That didn't work out so well. Let's do this, this. I hate to give myself a low shield, but... Oh my gosh. So you can only attack once there, but... That was some very high rolls. Scared me a little bit. Fair enough game, I suppose. That was really bad RNG. Well, now he gets three thorns. Can't believe I rolled that one into like a two twice and a one again. Taken. He just gets the thorns. Perfect. So we do this. This we walk away full health. By the time we get to the boss, though, we're literally gonna have like 18 health or maybe 16 even. Probably 16. I should have checked that shop actually, I just didn't even think about it. Let's fight the marshmallow and move on. Super marshmallow. Those are super low rolls. I need myself a 5 shield. Both of my attacks don't matter what I use it on unless it's a 6. Oh my gosh. I absolutely need this. That's good enough. I don't know if it was- the, maybe I should have paid 2 health to reroll and get some more damage in because this is gonna hurt. Yeah, because pretty much no matter what he rolls, unless he rolls all three of one kind- oh. He's gonna survive. Couldn't have ended the fight there, unfortunately. Does he kill me? Oh, I'm dead. I should have maybe doubled the shield there. I just didn't think that was going to be necessary. That is rough. What an interesting challenge, though. Interesting. We'll give it another try, actually. This is definitely a game where, like, unlike Slate the Spire, or I guess I do favor some characters just because some of the tainted characters and such are very, very skewed. But, uh, eh. Try that one more time. Now we know it's here. I'm gonna just give her dialogue. Why are you so mean? He used to love Thunder, but he's never gonna hear it again. Lady Luck is mean to me IRL, but she's really mean to the warrior in here. Honestly, that was a good roll for me to have him get. Perfect. Alright. Minimize fights. Though we of course want to equip. Basically, we're going to be foregoing a lot of our chests. I don't know if we can afford to skip anvils, but we are going to be foregoing a lot of our chests. Early on, that does limit what I can do. Oh, gosh. I'll go for 10 damage. Could have been really good if I could reroll into a 6, but there's no guarantee I would have. Nice. Hopefully can finish it next turn. Him rolling two ones is good. Maybe if we're lucky, we can heal. That's fine. We took the level up. I'm gonna buy the shield. I was hoping for another attack, but the shield was very helpful. And it lets us actually use more than one dice, so. Ooh, worst case scenario is that, yeah, if you're rolling even in an odd. Two 
too sure. This is the best. Yeah, yeah he rolls another even. If he rolls two evens or two odds, he can only use one dice, the higher of the two. So it's really unlucky that he continues to roll. Double. That's nice. And we get a five shield. It will take at least two turns to end the fight, though. See, that's perfect. And shields do stack, actually. We just haven't really been in a position where we've been stacking shields. <laughs> Well, if we can heal here, we'll walk away at full health. If not, we're still walking away at a... Yeah, I was gonna say, not bad. Minimize fights. It's sneezy and yeti. I'll we'll have a couple apples to work with. Biscuit the biscuit. Ooh, so good. Oh my gosh, you're experiencing my kind of like spike. Or sneezy. The attack was called spike swing. Luckily, we can now stack shields. That double's getting. That's actually legitimately dangerous because he's going to lower the cooldowns of every spike by four. Luckily, we have some shield stacking, so not the biggest deal, but. Ooh, and then we get one of these rolls. Alright, a 6 attack will let us end the fight next turn. Yeah, without the shield, I think this would actually be an incredibly difficult challenge. Nice. The shield has been MVP, for sure. Ugh. Try spiked shield. Don't know if that's optimal, but we're gonna try it, so... Restore 3 health, max 5. That basically just removes the cap and allows us to do 6 damage. You know, let me try this. I think our deck is definitely actually doing 3 big cards. Really actually isn't a terrible thing when you consider that, um... We're in a position where we're trying to get through with Asloa as low level as possible, so we won't have the maximum number of dice, so it's not actually that much of a detriment. Got one damage, that's fine. Ah, that's unfortunate. Hey, nice! I really want to play this defensively. That's not good. Technically been worse, but it definitely wasn't good for me. That's good. Nice. Go for the bigger shield here. It's not like we were gonna kill him in that turn regardless. Oh gosh. Owie. That was lucky. Nice, okay. We are skirting by, so stop giving me extra XP, please. I didn't visit the shop, oops. Alright, so two fights. 17 health is so scary. Six is good. I almost sleep. I'm not even gonna risk it. 11 shield, super helpful. Okay, six damage, eight damage, okay. We had a good amount of shield go up and we still only barely blocked it. Ooh, hot dog. Yeah, we're just gonna use those as our. Eight damage, okay. Yeah, the shield's been a lifesaver and upgrading the shield I think was a worthwhile investment. Ooh, that's two sixes right there. So 
good turn to get a lot of shields up. The only concerning about my deck right now, I would say, for me, is that unless I use Spike Shield for an attack, which I really haven't been doing so very often, um, like here we'll use it, um, a boss like the Girl Scout that stacks up damage is going to overwhelm us very quickly. But I don't think we can afford to play very much more offensively because we have, we have such a low health pool. the best possible starting hand but her damage output is very low luckily she can only do three damage for every card she uses and then she has to invest into mood change this might be very very do doable i'm just gonna do that what does the weather change to so we've got a freeze coming up Luckily, I think she can still only do 3 damage, right? Yeah, not bad. I will reroll one of these. Okay, good. I'm gonna breed for some damage here. Oh, that's not good. The higher she rolls, the more she can cycle through, so... We have 3 freezes coming our way, and almost an entire uh, mood change as well. But again, she can only do 3 damage per card as far as I know, so... Ugh, that hurts. Not the worst though. Put the damage, damage. Okay, okay. This is this, this challenge would absolutely, I think, not be doable without a shield. Like I just don't think I could do it. Two freezes. Our shields are still relatively keeping up. CPU is absolutely always. I, I'm sure it is to be, do the optimal, um, optimal path. I don't think it would make sense otherwise. Ugh. Okay, we're having three log dice this next turn. That's scary. can't even end the fight, so maybe I just add some shields here. I should have used iron shield. I don't know what I was thinking there. Alright. A burn isn't the end of the world. These fights are taking a really long time with this deck, but, um, or, I don't know if you could technically call this a deck, but, you know, whatever this is. But we didn't lose an HP, so not bad. I think we can get through the next floor without leveling up again, which would be ideal. Battle axe. Uh, um, I just don't think I can spare the room for it is the problem. Venus flytrap I absolutely need. Shield I need. I could replace Spike Shield, but Spike Shield lets me go for both offense and defense in one card. No. No. My One of my most important cards for a shovel. You're a comedian. Okay, four, five. Okay, we can barely go in at level four. That's good. Leveling up literally does not benefit us in this, uh, this particular game mode. The downside due to this build, though, is we're not really getting... Um, our limit break, our fury, very often because we're not. Oh, I spoke in too soon. I was about to say because we're not taking a whole lot of damage, but uh, this Rhino Beetle is probably gonna do some to us. Hey, four of my lucky number. Okay. This, this, this. We are absolutely taking some damage, actually, though, here. Yeah, yeah, we are. Ooh, sick. Let's fury up. 
I mean, that was pretty much the best possible roll I could have gotten. Ooh, and he's still gonna ooh, almost puncture through. That is scary. I'm gonna go for the damage. He might take a little bit of damage here, but shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, we're not gonna take damage. Sick. Nice, okay. One more fight than the boss fight. We might be able to do this. We might be able to do this. This is... What is Cornelius? Okay, well, I don't think we can upgrade even with the... I think with the anvil we still can only upgrade once before, but I might be incorrect. So we want to open the opportunity to do six damage to spike shield or get more health. Let's do this. The problem is the boss very much. I don't know if we're going to be able to complete... Oh, wow. There's an extra ice every turn. What's his abilities? Oh no. Well, I'm really glad I opened this up because we just got a bum rushing for damage. Yeah, it, this is literally just a fight to see if we can do 100 damage before he rolls 99. I mean, no matter how many shields I bring up, that's not going to be enough. Uh, that's really scary. I think we did uh, take the right upgrade. Knowing what we know now, but we need... Oh no. Actually, that's fine. I was going to say, we have to use an even number on this, but oh gosh. Oh, we're so going to die. Me not having an offensive enough deck has not been an issue until now. I was feeling pretty good about this run, but uh... If he's just going to keep compiling more and more dice while we're sitting here doing steadily not that much damage, we're doomed. Oh, we're still... Okay, we're one ahead of him. for long. Oh, thank you, game. That was merciful. We're even with him. I need some sixes, game. You gotta work with me. Mm. I don't think... Oh, we're not gonna make it. There's a six. Okay, okay, okay. That means this is at worse than 11 DPS turn. Good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we just lost. We can't finish him in this turn. He now have eight dice. That really sucks. Even with all the morals, I'm not sure I could have done that, but. That's okay. I think if I had had any other enemy standing in my way, I would have been okay. But, uh, that's just how it is sometimes. Alright, let's, uh... extra equipment start with double equipment and upgrade hammers make twice as many gadgets. that's actually easier in theory is it not not so well you know i'm not 100 they're not fair that's kind of the point though to be fair to be fair haha <laughs> oh. <laughs> just like, let's look into it actually <laughs> Trapped forever. Okay. Let's get on with it then. Burn all dice, flee immediately. The problem is, if I flee any fight, I'm pretty sure that just means we don't.
This is interesting. The problem with this challenge is if we have to get rid of two things every single time, we're literally just gonna be mad cycling through our stuff. Yeah, okay. Is it always gonna be the same? Okay. I mean, I'm gonna keep collecting them all. We need just as much equipment as we can possibly get. I think my staples will be, I mean, I'm just going to keep taking them all, obviously. I think my staples are absolutely going to be the double hammer. I think those will be staying with us no matter what. At the very least, one will not be leaving all run. damage freeze two dice that's annoying because I don't currently have a method to oh that hurts he only has one dice though so if I burn it he can't use it ah to be fair he would have just gotten an extra dice but not a big deal I think that, that that legitimately is the plan. Just keep the double hammers and then let everything else kind of figure itself out. Uh, oh, she paid the health for that. Oh, to do six damage, that does make sense. I don't feel the- yeah, I was gonna say, don't waste the focus, actually. You're so clever, so much fun playing with you. Thank you. I feel bad for you. So maybe some of these, some of the enemies I feel like might be contestants, some of them I don't think are. Yeah, I feel like we just take as much equipment as possible with this particular challenge. Double gadgets is really helpful. Like, this actually does seem easier than just base inventor, so. You can't have my hammers. I refuse to give them to you. Oh, they were already upgraded. This is another run though. I think for the majority of runs though, the answer is to try and fight everything. Legitimately. Maybe that's just me being rigid in my thinking, but... I just think that seems like the best way to give yourself a good chance against the final boss. Pick three weaken or add two poison. Uh, at least he wasn't able to add any poison. I'm getting two poison here. That's fine. Two damage off the level of lowest three monster is not bad at all. Yes. This and uh I was I, I'm not getting rid of my jackhammer plus this. It's just not happening. They're too important. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Might as well see what's in these. Duplicated dice. It's fine. I don't know if upgrades really are going to be that important though, because we're not getting rid of a... Why did I do that? That's not what I wanted to do. 
focus for doing that. I wanted to put the six in for the shock, though. I just wasn't. I was thinking they were on this side again, and I'm just dumb. Yes, okay. At least he can't do anything. Okay, we are taking some damage here for sure. Yeah, that's what stinks is the enemies. Oh my gosh. The enemies are always going to use everything they have to uh, hit you because they don't have to continue fighting. Blah, blah. Stop. Hate to get rid of the sword plus, but we're not uh, getting rid of my, uh, not getting rid of my hammers. Um, again, what do I even upgrade? You know, like, do I just upgrade fodder? Like. Guess we might as well just upgrade fodder. I'm gonna do this one though, see what it gives me. Maybe save the upgraded ones in my backpack for the final fight or something, I don't know. Actually, I don't know why I did that. I should just leave one, yeah, at almost usable. A rolling 2-6 is actually unironically really good for my electric shocks. Nice. Nice. Well, I'll focus all dice become 6. Duplicate all dice. Seems a good combo. I don't know how we're gonna finagle it to make sure that we have a good um I don't know what I think here. Make sure that we have a good power combo for the boss, but that's an issue I'm gonna deal with when I have to deal with it. <laughs> that's silly looking. This is definitely a powerful combo. He's not throwing rocks, honestly. Nice. I don't mind doing a fight with two shields. Why do I feel like one of these is the secret apple that just hates everyone? I need to counterfeit. One of these. Oh, okay. It does say on the map, I didn't realize. Oh. I mean, if we can't do more than six damage a turn, oh, Rotten Core will actually be a very big problem. Because I'm pretty sure that probably goes through shields. Just a thought, though. Double shock is helpful though. Especially if he wants to prioritize worm bite. I don't know why he's prioritizing worm bite so hard because it's just one damage. It does not make very much sense to me, but I'm not gonna complain. say if it just gone straight for Rotten Core every time that would have been much worse for me. I didn't do that correctly actually. Do this. Shouldn't be able to get off a worm bite regardless. Okay, wait, well, can't. 
Yeah, surely that goes through shields, like. Nice. Is this next fight a level 4? All dice become 6. Get three shit, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll level up after this fight regardless. Hi, Jester. Hey, it's a little dice, buddy. Sorry for intercepting for real time to die. Is it? I mean, I'm dealing three damage and I'm only getting sixes, so. Nice. One more turn. Not a bad setup. Yeah, you can get some really underwhelming setups, so it feels like in some that are just crazy powerful. Nice. You remind me of when I- you were a contestant once? Are you just a prisoner now, or did you win? Because I feel like you probably didn't win. Combine all dice, buzzer plus. Copy equipment. Sure. Yeah, I just realized we're not gonna have a whole lot to work with. I can get rid of one hammer though in the next fight, so not a terribly big deal. Not ideal though. Alright, four more fights than the boss. Let's figure this out. Answer my door. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's do this. Duplicate counter. Do some go all in. Nice. Not so bad. I am definitely worried about this boss fight because I don't know if we're going to be able to make a good power out of this, but Plasma Pin's not bad. Let's get rid of one hand. Oh, honestly, that's going to be really good for the boss. So I'm going to. Hmm, it's hard to tell what would be best. We didn't get any equipment out of that fight, that's somewhat concerning. Cowboy, I haven't seen the cowboy before. 55 damage, duplicate all dice. Hmm. Interesting. I do like the idea behind the inventor around it like kind of, you know, pushing you to use all sorts of different equipment. But it's still very difficult to kind of figure out what the correct option is with this character for sure. I think Electromagnet could have been really good for a boss as well. We've got two more fights to go. Oh, we're getting rid of one of these, that's fine. And then I'll get rid of the ray gun. Equip. Okay, we have one of these equipped. Who command first, I suppose? Discharge zero damage takes damage to job. Needs doubles. I have no idea what that did. Probably gonna take some decent damage this fight. The shock was nice though. Because it means that he will never be able to use more than one ability in this particular fight. Discharge 4 damage, takes damage charge. Oh, I understand now. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that then last turn. Oops. Taking five damage here. I think we'll be okay, but if the singer could be dangerous. Can 
gonna end it next turn with just the powers. No heal, actually, so no longer just the powers, but still not a big deal. More focus for the uh, first turn and next fight. This time I'll give myself longer legs. Good for you. I don't know if I want to be made out of Wigger, though. Alright, uh, Static Shock, sure. One extra dice. Alright, the Singer. And then I should double check to make sure I had enough equipment equipped. It's fine, not a big deal. I do not have enough equipment. Oops. Okay, we should be okay. But it's gonna take three turns to end this fight, I think, in theory. We don't really need to worry about the shock because we are already... Oh, we didn't shock all three, what? Oh, our power only does three damage, oops. Uh, this is gonna be kinda close then. Well, hopefully she doesn't kill us this turn. Uh... Really? That's unfortunate. Well, we are close. Uh, I, I think that challenge is gonna be a little bit easier to play though. Um, yeah, I did just get called for some same stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream there. A little bit shorter than normal, but still a little over two and a half hours. Anyway, I really enjoyed this game. I think I might do another stream or two of this game. I don't know. It's definitely a, a tough game. I'm still trying to figure everything out. It obviously, I didn't get that many wins this time. Only a couple. We had several runs that were pretty close, though, at least. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye.